Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for your dose of Weekly Whiskey with John and Jay. Weekly Whiskey is made on Mackey, and if you'd like to find out more about the studio gear we're using, you can find out on Mackey.com. Awesome, man. Well, we have two great bottlings here for you tonight in the uh, Weekly Whiskey studio. We got some airmail lately, thanks to Heaven Hill, um, which means double bourbon, so a double good time. What are we, uh, what are we drinking? Double bourbon sounds fucking great. I like that. Let's do my favorite ice cream flavor. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's open an ice cream shop. It's summertime. All right. So let's do what is one of my favorite things and do a comparison here. Normally, I would do like uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof batch A versus B or A of this year versus A of last year. But how about we uh, cross streams here? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we do a little larceny against Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. A122 versus A122. Yeah, man. I think that that's a great call. Um, Elijah Craig is always a favorite. I really enjoy this one. It showed up a little while ago. Um, so we have a 12 year age dated bourbon at barrel proof. We uh, we have Larceny barrel proof as well. It is not age dated, but we know, you know, it's in that kind of six to eight, maybe nine range. Um, basically, standard Heaven Hill bourbon mash bill versus the Heaven Hill weeded mash bill. I think this is a this is a perfect comparison. They've both gotten kind of hard to find. They're tough to find here. Let's see which one you should hunt for. Yeah, let's dig in. I'm going to go and dive into Elijah Craig here. I mean, right on the nose, it's big, it's bright, it's sweet. There's a good, like, like a really nice level of barrel char that kind of sticks out to me there. This is right. like sticky, kind of syrup on the nose here. Not maple, but like a pancake syrup type of deal. Good fruits. Wow, oh, man, this nose is really nice. So this is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, A122, and I have zero complaints so far. Yeah, I always think it's interesting. So this release comes in at 120.8 proof, and everyone, at least that I've seen on the internet, complains that, oh no, why are they going with such a low proof? Now, I get it. We, we've seen Elijah Craig Barrel Proof almost up to 140, but really, you know, in my opinion, 120 Point eight proof is still over 60% EV. That is a high proof bourbon, in my opinion. And this drinks like it. There's no shortage of flavor. Sure. And but I mean, what I think matters more is that this is not being diluted, right? This is not filtered. It's not proofed. I think to me, that matters more than having another 10 proof points on it. I mean, if it had another 10 proof points and still tasted great and it had a great finish, cool. But this isn't lacking for anything by being, you know, a hair over 60%. Right. It's not like Heaven Hill went and diluted it, which, you know, if we move over to the Larceny, same story, also barrel proof. This clocks in at 124.4 proof. Uh, we did mash bill. This this has some interesting character, too. Like this is very Larceny, me, which I love. I so I'm getting like a really good layer of spice on the Larceny, which mm -hmm. in my mind, anytime I catch this big, heavy cinnamon vibe, I usually see you run for the hills, but it's this weeded mash bill that they use though. I mean, just like in the old fits, this is going to come through with a good backbone that has like this almost like a combination of a nougat and waffle cone thing that kind of happens in there and it gets pretty magical. Yeah, for me, Larceny, there is always that baking spice cinnamon. That's the thing I hate most about Weller Antique. Honestly, I think that this does be like better and then Weller full proof, you know, on most days or some of those old Weller antiques that are just pierced in me. Um, but I love how much caramel there is. The oak comes through really nicely. It's not too oaky. There's like a big cherry pie note and just huge brown sugar. And and that makes me a fan. Like I unapologetically have loved Larceny Barrel Proof since maybe that second batch. The first one was was really rough. After that, it has been just dessert all day long. Yeah, I don't even know if I would say the first one was really rough. It was probably not its best showing. I mean, definitely not its best showing, really. I mean, but it had nowhere to go but up from there. And I think it has. The second batch that rolled out was really, really nice. Uh, and some of these have been like a liquid Snickers bar, man, like just a little bit of uh, candy in your glass. They've been really, really fun to sip on. Pretty sweet, pretty desserty. But like when you're in the mood for something like that, it really, really checks the boxes. I couldn't agree more. You know, the first batch, yeah, it wasn't terrible. People talked about like it was the worst thing they ever drank, kind of like Stag Junior Batch One, right. which was far worse. But I think I would have taken Weller Full Proof over Larceny Barrel Proof in that first batch. And since then, it's really tight. They're either trading blows or, you know, I, I tend to prefer the Larceny. Whereas if we move back to the Elijah Craig, this guy is a lot oakier. 
a lot stronger, a lot bolder. I still think this is one of the best batches in a long time, which makes it kind of a toss up for me. Like this is a tough, you know, uh, it's a tough to decide which pour is going to be the winner for me. Yeah, I think here if you are going to lean a little bit more into the spice, the Larceny is going to probably bring it in. And if you want a little bit more of the fruit and a bigger volume on the oak, the Elijah Craig is going to do it. I think on the nose, actually, the Elijah Craig might win by just a bit for me. But as I go through these and go back and forth, I think the Larceny is really kind of where I'm at. It ends up being the one that I want to... I've actually almost finished it as I compare them. <laughs> and I haven't finished the Elijah Craig yet. I, as I go through these, I think the Larceny is going to be uh, the winner here. So I'll put the uh, the old John stamp on that one there. Okay. That the uh, Larceny is John stamp. So to break it down again for you guys, if you see Elijah Craig in your neck of the woods, it's probably going to be about seventy to eighty dollars. This guy is one hundred and twenty um, point four. No, sorry, point eight proof. So sixty point four percent ABV, twelve year age stated. They make a lot of it, but it's gotten hard to find. If you move over to the Larceny, that guy is no age statement. We know it's between six to nine years based on the batch. One hundred and twenty four point four proof. These are a little cheaper. I see them at sixty dollars, maybe sixty five. But honestly. They both used to sit on the shelf and, and I have to call in a favor to get one every year, which feels kind of weird, but you know, that's the state of bourbon. And honestly, if I'm calling in that favor between the Elijah Craig and the Larceny, it's Larceny all day for me. This guy's a winner. I'm with you. I, if I see these on the shelf, I'm buying either one and I'm happy with either. Um, if they're both there and I, I'm told I can only get one, it's probably going to be the Larceny on this one. But that's going to uh, really turn into something where I'm going to want to compare to the next batch as well. This will make a fun comparison for the B batch of Larceny this year and see how that rolls out. Definitely. Well, when the B batches arrive, I know that Larceny is on the way and uh, which means the Elijah Craig won't be far behind it. So be sure to check back in, guys. We will compare both Elijah Craig and B batches, Larceny and B batches. And maybe we'll uh, we'll pit them, you know, pit them together for a nice king of the hill. I like the way that sounds. So I want to say thank you, everybody, for catching your dose of weekly whiskey with John and Jay. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. If you like what we're doing, if you like the content we're putting out, if you want to join our communities or maybe, you know, get some inside info, chat with us on the daily, go ahead and find us over at patreon.com slash the whiskey net. Don't forget to check out our studio sponsor, Mackie. You can find them on Instagram at Mackie Gear or on their website, Mackie.com. Hell yeah, Mackie is awesome. And if you're looking for more info from John, you can find him at thebourbonfinder.com. As always, I am Jay over at whiskeyraiders.com where the Rotten Tomatoes of Whiskey, lots of great reviews. Both of these reviews are up now for you to read. And thanks again for joining us, guys. So cheers. Cheers, guys.